The thing that makes IMCA what it is, is the relationship between what used to be the interdisciplinary program, which has an emphasis on the tradition that comes from performance art and to some extent sound art, and video, video production, video history and theory, and then electronic arts. And those things were separate before and they really belong together. The program doesn't require people to do all three of them. In fact, it's possible to go through the entire program without doing any digital work. The student doesn't have to be within technology to be an IMCA. I think there's a lot of people who are frightened off by the word cyber, as well as people who are quite excited by it. You have to be curious. You have to be uh, willing to investigate, to explore. It's a new field, not that new, but it's a new field which requires you that you experiment a lot. And the underlying premise is to get a proficiency in technology and a proficiency in contemporary art practice and an ability to mess with those and uh, break, break the conventions and play with the conventions. In some cases people are coming from uh, more a visual uh, background or like more video or more uh, painting and drawing and for them it's like how to integrate all these devices or technologies or tools to what they'd like to be. Performance is a, really a category between disciplines. It's between dance, it's between theater, and it's, it's in a sense the art process not within an object. In the IMCA performance class, we explore various ways of performing and we're invited to incorporate performance into other disciplines we're interested, whether it's painting, drawing, or video, or sculpture. The way we teach uh, robotic art, and I would say like electronic arts in general, it's, it's very flexible. We, we don't force anybody to do uh, one specific type of work or machine or robot. This year I'm teaching uh, programming for artists, which is a first year class. The first classes are very technical in the sense that I, we learn the software and I'm having the students do a lot more technical stuff rather than strictly conceptual because they have to learn the language of new media that is in part like programming and electronics. On my side, like I work mostly in making like uh, theatrical shows. So you can imagine like a theater play, but instead of using uh, human actors, I'm using machines to uh, play the piece. I'm working a lot with uh, interactivity, so the machines react to the viewers, they express different v uh, behaviors. Uh, I think we're getting to a point where now we understand a little bit more what it means to incorporate the audience or to have interactive art in place and that we start to get a more mature uh, discourse on it and not just throw random technologies and just do interactive art for the sake of it being interactive. Well, right now with the uh, new Hexagram Institute, it gives like a real uh, attractive aside to Concordia. Hexagram is a joint institute between uh, UCAM and Concordia, mostly dedicated to uh, research in new media, in art and technology, but it's what we call the research creation. So it's not only about developing technologies, but it's also about creating uh, artworks. So it's about using technology to make art. In some cases, people in the MCA program end up working with professors on, even though they're undergraduate students, on hexagram projects, but even if they don't, they see examples of research from hexagram and they're uh, in contact with researchers from hexagram and it's very much the context, I think, that the IMCA program is in. I'm really, really glad that we can offer a program that has um, a strong technology base and yet the ability to play with technology, repurpose it, take it apart and comprehend it.